Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to be doing my sample project pan update for you guys. So not only did I decide that I'm going to be doing my empties for you, but I'm also going to show you guys what I've been working on. And I think that'll help to show how much time it's actually taking me to finish up these samples that I'm currently working on. So this I actually posted in a poll in my last sample project pan update and an overwhelming amount of you guys decided that you wanted me to do my updates with my empties as well as the projects that I have pro <laughs> the projects as well as the products that I have progress on or the ser current samples that I'm actually working on so I plan on doing both of those today for you I only have five empties for you which really isn't a lot but when you see how many products that I have progress on, it'll make a lot more sense and I'll have a lot more sample empties at the end of the month because so many of my products are on their last leg and I can't imagine them lasting any more than a month. So let's get into this and I will show you prices at the bottom of the screen along with my total that I have for the month. So my first sample empty is this Barefoot Venus Wildflower Instant Hand Repair hair balm cream stuff I don't know but it smells amazing it smells like the most annoying floral scent you could ever think of but it's so delicious smelling I truly loved using this it was very very oily and greasy on the skin but my hands were so smooth after that greasiness kind of wore off and that only took about five or ten minutes for me to not even notice the greasiness at anymore and that's with me even like really paying attention to the greasiness so I would really I would take this product any day of the week I have added this to my to buy list honestly I'm kind of sad that it's all done I put this in my pocket at work and I used it mainly at work because it's such a small sample size I mean you guys can tell it's less in my hand so it really fit perfectly in my pocket I have a little tiny scrub jacket that I wear and it fits perfectly in there but I'm really gonna miss using this I really enjoyed it it smelled delicious it I honestly I wouldn't have asked for anything better than this I really loved this one the next product I have is the Jergens natural glow wet skin moisturizer and this was like a little two ounce sample size that I used and this unfortunately was the fair to medium skin tones I got this in a Walmart box and hence the reason why I got the fair to medium skin tones because if I were purchasing it I would buy the medium to tan skin tones but you typically want to do with something like this you want to buy a skin tone that's darker than you because I would say I'm fair to medium but if I'm looking for a tan, I want a medium to tan skin tone. Does that make sense? Um, I've noticed that especially with the Jergens brand line that you want to go a shade darker than what you are. So if you have very, very light porcelain skin, I would go with the medium or the fair to medium. But if you have skin to mine or even slightly darker, then I would go with the other one. But I did end up using this up. I'm kind of sad it's gone. I don't have any wet skin moisturizer for my shower anymore. Oh my god, I'm missing it so much. And I really do like this. It really did put a tan on my skin. And it doesn't cling to my knees and my elbows and my wrists and my hands as much as the regular lotion does. I really like this wet skin moisturizer. I do plan on repurchasing. The other wet skin moisturizer that I use in my shower wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting when I was done with my shower, when the water was off, to do it just like the Jergens one. But this one is from Nivea and it is the In Shower Body Lotion in Radiant Silk. And it says it moisturizes in instantly with a gentle exfoliation. It says it's a two-in-one exfoliating pearls. So the problem I have with this <laughs> is that it wasn't really a moisturizer, like a lotion, and it wasn't really a cleanser either. It was like the mix of both, and I didn't like this. So basically it wanted me to use this after I already used my body wash, but it had a scrubbing aspect to it, and then it was like lotion-y as well. And it wanted me to rinse my skin after, 
and I just thought it was weird. It, you should, like this product doesn't know what it wants to do. It doesn't know who it wants to be, if it wants to be a moisturizer or if it wants to be an exfoliator. And honestly, I would not repurchase this item because I want something that's either going to exfoliate and actually scrub and do well, or it's gonna be a wet skin moisturizer after I'm done in my shower, done with the water. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I didn't really like it. I only got two to three uses out of this little packet. The next item that I have here was my favorite. I loved this. I brought this to Florida with me and I didn't quite finish it. It is the Seventh Heaven Tea Tree Peel Off De-Stress Mask and it helps to purge pores and clear skin and it peels off instantly. This has been the only peel off mask I have found that doesn't rip my skin from the foundation of my face. Oh, what I mean by that, if you guys know, I do have drier skin in the winter time and typically peel off masks will dry so, so dry that when I peel them off, my skin has a red layer of hatred towards me putting on a peel off mask. This one, it didn't matter how long I let it dry for, it didn't do that at all. It was so gentle when it pulled off it was gentle on my pores. It was gentle in my T-zone where I get the most redness. I loved this mask. I will definitely repurchase this. I'm gonna use up some of those other peel-off masks in the summertime when I tend to be a bit more oily, but this was amazing. I even used this when I came back. This was about five uses. I used it when I came back from Florida and I was so happy with it. Like literally best peel off mask I've ever used and it smelled delicious. And the final item that I have is another mask. Sorry. I consider these to be samples because I only get to use them one time. And in my mind, a mask is only a one-time purchase, which means it's a sample because you get to try it once and decide if you like it or not. So this is from Biobel or Biobel or however you want to say it. I know people say it differently, but this is the hashtag stay gorgeous, hydrates and nourishes with almond oil and vitamin E. So basically this is supposed to hydrate and nourish my skin. I do feel like my skin was slightly hydrated after it. There's still a lot of serum in here, but when I took it off the next day, my skin broke out. I was trying a new foundation the next day as well, so I don't know if it was the mask or that foundation. I have since tried that foundation and my skin has not broken out, so I do think that it was the mask, but I have another mask to try. And typically I would take the extra serum, there's definitely more serum in here, and I would serum my face for the next couple nights and then rinse it off in the morning. But because my face broke out the next morning or the next day, I'm not sure if it was the mask or not and I didn't want to use the additional serum in case it was. So I am going to try this mask again. I did buy a pack, that diary pack of these masks and I plan on trying it again. But if that happens again, then I will know for sure that it was the mask. So therefore, I... I wouldn't repurchase this as of right now, but I have already repurchased a pack of the masks. So I plan on using it, seeing if it's gonna work and seeing if it's not gonna break me out. But honestly, I have so many items that I really do like that I shouldn't have to be worried if a mask is gonna break me out because I have other masks that I really, really like and that I know aren't gonna break me out. So I'm gonna try it one more time and see if it's worth it. And if not, then, well, so long to the Biobel masks because it obviously didn't like my skin. So those were actually all of the samples that I had for the month for all of my final totals. So I'll show my total here. But yeah, that was it for all of my sample empties. I know I don't have a lot, but I am going to start showing you right now of all of the items that I have progress on. And there are a lot. So bear with me and let's get through this pretty quickly. So as you guys can see, I kind of have them piled up over here. So I'm just gonna talk about them one at a time and I won't be showing close-ups of these until I have them in my empties. So stay tuned for that. But the first item I have is the Hanalei Sugar Lip Scrub. I did already purchase a full size of this, but I only have about two or three uses left on here. I am hitting the bottom of the pan. 
It didn't break or anything. Okay, we're good. But I have already hit the bottom of the pan or the, you know, the tubey thing on here. And this will be done by the end of the month. The next item I have is the Tarte Friction Stick. This one was in my favorites of January, I think. And I love this thing. Don't mind the dirtiness of it because it looks kind of gross, but that is all I have left in here. And I can imagine using this probably about 10 more times. I do like to use this on nights where I am washing off my makeup for the night. So I really, really love that product and I can't wait to get a full size of it. The next item that has become essential in my makeup routine is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camila Cleansing Oil. So I will typically wipe my makeup off with my Neutrogena um, cleansing towelettes. Then I will put the Tatcha on after and I will rub it all over my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, and my nose. And then I will scrub it with this cleaning clear deep action cream cleanser and for some reason these two together is like magic like i know this is a drugstore product and this is like a luxury high-end product but for some reason this combo for my skin right now is fantastic so this makes my skin so incredibly soft it's it's like a baby's bottom i literally went up to my husband and i was like David, feel my face. And he's like, what? And I'm like, feel my face. And he's like, oh, it's soft. And I was like, I know. Anyways, I was really excited. And this, usually the cleaning clear and my skin don't work out as well, but this has been amazing. It's so, it's a cream cleanser. So there's no abrasive like beads in it or anything like that, but it's so like light on the skin. And it literally feels like my pores are breathing like you can feel that instant sensation of like that cooling you know what I'm talking about that cooling sensation on your skin where your pores feel like they're breathing in fresh air that's how this makes me feel and these two together have been the winning combination another item this one I actually got in a subscription box and this is the black mask this is another peel off mask this is like a charcoal peel off mask i only have one more use of this but it's been pretty rough on my skin that my skin's been dry so i'm kind of waiting on that one this is something that my mom gave me for christmas she had like a little sample thing and um i don't know i've just been using it by my bedside table and just you know putting it on my hands whenever i feel like they are dry and before bed so that one's gonna last me a little while unfortunately well not unfortunately but it's it's gonna last me a little while. This is the pocket back very scary goal ghoul friend goal friend ghoul friend antibacterial hand gel from Bath and Body Works and I have no idea where I got this it just showed up somehow some way um, I have about that much left of it and honestly I keep forgetting to use it so I keep trying to put it out where I can like clearly see it and honestly I think I just need to take it to work and use it at work because I feel like work is where I'm going to use it the most getting on to my little bucket I'm gonna run through these super quick this is the Argan Oil Novex Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This was in one of my very first Ipsy bags and I only have one more use in here so I plan on using that up very quickly. This is the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Recovery Cream. I've used this, I've been marking it on the back, I've used this 31 times. And there is still product left. I cannot believe that there is freaking product left in here. After 31 uses, I've been using this for more than a month. I don't use it every day, but I really do like it. Then I have the Davidoff Cool Water for Women Eau de Toilette. That's where I am on that. I have the full size of this product, so I just want to use up that little sample and get it out of my way, honestly. This is another sample that I got from Ulta with like a gift with purchase type of product, and it is the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant and it's not my favorite shower cleanser but I do use it in the shower 
Um, I'm just kind of using it up to be totally honest. The Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. I am right there on it, so really it's not going to be many uses. I've used this about eight times or so, but there are these tiny little pink microbeads in here, and I don't purchase items that have the microbeads because they're super, super bad for the environment, and they don't biodegrade at all. They just kind of sit in the environment, so would I repurchase that? Absolutely not, but... I do like that cleanser, so I wish they would make that cleanser without those microbeads and I would totally purchase it because it is really a good cleanser, but like I said, it has those microbeads, so I'm not going to be purchasing that. Then something that also came in one of my very first Ipsy bags by Delectable, it is the Everything Balm, and honestly there's like little bumps in here. And I'm not quite sure if I want to finish using it or if I want to call it done, but it's almost gone. And I've only been using it on my cuticles at night, so I'll just keep using it, I guess. I have the Swartz Cough Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin Ultra Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is in the white packaging. As you guys already know, I used up the black packaging and I loved it and I'm still deciding on the white packaging how I feel about it but I have about two more uses left on that so I plan on using those up then I have the raw sugar body wash coconut um, raw coconut and mango and this is cold press technology and I've been really really liking this body wash but I am trying to finish a full size in the shower first before I finish using this. I used it a couple times in Florida and I have since not used it because like I said I'm trying to finish a full size so I do plan on uh, using that up here very soon. Then I have the Way hair care treatment mask. This one I've actually gotten more than one use out of because I have used one of these in the past when I had long hair and I only got one use out of it. This so far I've gotten two uses out of and there's still more product in there so that's a three to four use product for me. Um, I don't have a full opinion on it yet but you know. And then I have the Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes Eye Cream. I use this at night and I've been using it for about three months now and it is getting down to the wire. So this eye cream is very, very thick, but that's exactly what I want for my nighttime eye cream. I want it to be more of a thicker formula so that when it sits on my eyes, it really does hydrate them overnight. So I've been really enjoying using that and I'm actually gonna be really sad when I'm all done using it because I haven't decided what its backup is going to be or its replacement is going to be. Then I have the Platinum Skin Care Basics Day Cream. I have been actually using this as a night cream um, just because it's not quite what I want in a day cream and when I'm not quite sure about products I use them at night because then I feel like my skin can really decide if it likes it or not. I haven't had any issues with this but I only have one use left so that'll be gone by tomorrow. Then I have a little teeny tiny mini sampler of the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in Dolly. And this one is so low. Like it was kind of sitting on its side. Unfortunately, it's not settled, but there really isn't much left in this at all. So I plan on using that up hopefully by the end of the month, but honestly, I'm not gonna be mad if it's not used up. Then my very last product is my Coach Uday Perfume. Um, little perfume sampler and it is about halfway gone as you guys already know I did purchase the full size of this sampler so I want to use that one up so then that one doesn't go bad because if I'm using the full size one of that I know I'm not gonna reach for that little sample so I'm gonna use the sample up first before I open up the box for the full size and that is all of the sample products that I have for you guys this time I hope that update was okay for you because like I said I only had five finished samples but I think it's helpful to see kind of what I'm using and where I'm using things and why I'm taking so long to finish things and you know on and on and on so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of style of update. Give it a thumbs up if you did like this and let me know in the comments below if you want me to go back to just showing you final products. But honestly, I think this will be helpful for me to, to track my own progress to see how long things are actually taking me. 
Only a few things have I been marking, like this nighttime cream. Like I said, I've used it 31 times. But other things that I can't really mark are like shower items. I'm not going to bring a Sharpie in the shower, nor am I going to remember to do a Sharpie before the shower or after the shower. That's just silly. But it is nice for me to kind of see my progress on some of these items and just start really using them up. So let me know what you guys think about this. And make sure to check out Stacy's Instagram. I will link it down below as per usual. She is doing this sample project pan with me. And we are in cahoots all the time asking each other, hey, what have you finished? What are you working on? What seems to be easy? It's really, really nice talking to her. So you guys can chat with her as well on Instagram. And I know you guys will love her. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.